Hey, what's going on people? Tech Jamal. We got these to review today. Now these are made by a company called Marvel and it's their bog standard PC gaming headset with microphone. Now the model number is the H8321P. That's, it's a bit of a mouthful. We'll just call it the Scorpion gaming headset from here on. Now it's got a 40 millimeter driver, which is quite decent. It's like what you would get in a normal pair of skull candy hesh or like their hesh 2 model um so you know decent bass decent size driver there stereo sound obviously <laughs> deep bass headset it's saying here um it's got volume control on the wire somewhere as well so that looks cool flexible microphone um which you can i believe you can take it on or off um it's got two 3.5 millimeter headphone jacks so that's one green jack for the stereo input and you've got one pink jack for microphone input as well. So you'll have to plug both of them in to your computer if you want to use the microphone and the headphones at the same time. Or you can get like a little USB adapter which will convert these analog signals into a digital signal that will go through the USB. Um, apart from that, telescopic arm, no, headband. <laughs> telescopic armband, you know. Rotatable microphone arm, you said already, and large comfortable ear cups. Guys, let's just pop it open, see what it's actually saying. Um, these are going for like $9.99, so the very most bulk standard you can get for a headset. So let's have a little check and see what's good. All right. Okay, so got the headset as well and stuff. That's all cool. Um, nothing else in the box, really, so chuck that away. Get that plastic bag out of here. We've got a little piece of instruction manual. So, okay, this is the headset. It's, it doesn't look too bad, to be honest. It feels very plasticky. You've got the model number right there on the side saying, you know, headset and thing like that. Um, you've got the microphone on this side. And it doesn't, oh, it does. Okay, yeah, it goes to quite a decent angle. Um, it's a bit tough. But I guess that's so you can keep it at specific angles and everything. The ear cups feel really good, but they don't feel like they have that much travel on them. Anyway, let me just wear it and see if it actually fits my head size. Oh, look, we've got the volume control on the left ear cup as well. So you can just literally turn up and down the game without having to trouble the PC settings. All right, so it feels calm. There's not really that much passive noise cancellation. So I can still kind of hear everything that's going on around me. Um, maybe that's because I'm wearing my hat. Let me take off my hat. The quarantine trim. That's that's a bit better actually. Yeah, yeah. Not gonna lie. Yeah, that's that's a bit better. A bit more passive noise cancellation. Um, obviously no active noise cancellation. Now my laptop only has one port, so I'm gonna have to get an adapter that can plug this stereo analog jack into like the USB port kind of thing. But we can still see what the audio sounds like and I can get back to you after that is done. All right, so guys, I've listened to these for like a little piece now. And um, I know they're only £10, but I'm not going to lie, I'm a little key disappointed just because of the quality of all the other products I've tested from Marvel at the moment. Now, I'm going to tell you what I mean by that. I'm going to split this into sound and voice recording. Now, let's get a voice recording out of the way. It's very bog standard. Like, when I listen back to it, it kind of sounds like how I would expect my voice to sound through my laptop speaker. And not that my laptop speaker is terrible, but it's just never going to match a dedicated microphone, which I wouldn't expect it to for £10. But that's just what I'm telling you. That's, that is what it is kind of thing. Now sound, um, when I saw 40mm drivers, I thought, okay, I was expecting to hear some sound that's similar to what you get on the Skull Candy Hesh or the Hesh 2 kind of thing, or I think it's even a Hesh 3 by now, but that is not what you get. The sound profile is very flat, which is good for voice chat, I guess, because you don't really want that kind of thing for voice chat, but it means that if you're using it to play games and you want that kind of surround sound whilst you're playing games it can leave your games feeling a little bit lackluster because the sound quality just lacks 
personality kind of thing with it being so flat but then that's just my preference i know other people will like to have a flat sounding headphone with you know the bass mids and the highs all at the same level kind of thing i think it's definitely more vocal heavy um which would make sense if it's just a chat headset but from what i've seen with other companies when they do a chat headset or a gaming headset it's usually got some kind of you know bass or eq preset which would make it sound really good when you're listening to game or audio through them and that's just not the feeling i'm getting with these but yeah like i said 10 pound what can you expect they're functional <laughs> um but obviously you need an adapter to plug in the microphone and the headphones simultaneously if you're on a laptop and your laptop doesn't have two audio ports which some some don't so um yeah that's that's just my two pence guys let me know what you guys think if you've already tried them i'll put the link to where you can get this headset in the description section below like subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one bless